today we're going to take a look at packaging with our IntelliPak Maxwell Bagger uh, polyurethane foam. Polyurethane foam is great for, for a variety of packaging applications because it can conform to whatever that particular item might be. Uh, in this case we're going to pack a, a ceramic base, also used for electric components, compressors, pumps, um, valves, etc., anything heavy and fragile. Uh, for the ceramic vase, uh, what we're going to do is we want to pack it in a 12 by 12 by 12 box. Uh, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of uh, space around to provide adequate protection as it goes through the parcel shipping environment. An easy way to quickly design uh, how much foam you need, how many bags you need, is to use the agile bag function on the system. Uh, in this case, we've got it pulled up with bags of length options from 10 inches long to 70 inches long, every increment of 5 inches. And from a fill standpoint, we've got from 20% fill up to 95% fill at increments of 5%. And that's basically how full the bag would get when you want to dispense it. So in this case, we're going to shoot a 25-inch bag. And let's start with 60% uh, fill. So this bag should fill to roughly 60% full as the foam expands. The bag will come off of the system, take the bag, place it into the box. And what you'll want to do is you'll take your item and you'll place it into the box as the foam is rising. Now, as the foam is rising, you just kind of let the, the bag rise around it until the item can be fully supported within the box. Once it's fully supported, you can move on to your next bag. And we'll just go with a 25-inch, uh, 70% fill. Again, coming off the system. And as the foam rises, you want to let the foam do the work, meaning put the foam into the, put the bag into the box, let the foam continue to rise. Then as the bag starts to rise over the top of the box, use one of the flaps to help compress the foam and train it basically on where to go. So in this particular example, we need one more bag to round out our box size. Uh, in this case, we're gonna do a 25% 40% fill, 25 inch length, 40% fill. Take that bag, put it back in the box. Again, let the foam do the work, let it rise. As it rises up, you'll feel a little bit of a crown on the box. That's what you wanna see. That means we've got adequate foam protection on all six sides. And as the foam is risen and solidified, you've got your item packed, safely ready to survive the partial shipping channel.